Inshallah, we'll try to finish it. And then the next lesson is a new concept. We'll handle it tomorrow. Okay. Adarsu Adarsul Khamisa Ashara. Lesson number 15. Al Fatayatu. What is the meaning of Al Fatayatu? Young ladies. Ladies. What is the singular? Fatatun. Fatatun. You got to get used to it now, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Zainab, wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Man antunna. Before in the lesson we said man antum, now we say man antunna. Ya akhawatu. Who are you, O sisters? Ihdahunna. Brother, what is ihdahunna? One of them. So what kind of a combination is this? Mudaf, mudafili. Uh, it is mudaf, mudafili. Actually, ihda is written like this, brothers. How is it written? Ihda. But if you put hunna here, then this changes into, it changes into, Ihda Hunna. Uh, these are small, small spelling rules. You'll keep it in mind. Huh? Originally it is written the way I wrote it on top. Ihda. But then if you add plus Hunna, then it changes into this way. Okay. Nahnu Banatu Shaihi Abbasin. Now here comes our interesting situation. Nahnu. Sister Arifa, what is Nahnu? Mubtada. Where is the Khabar? Banatu. Wahua? Buddha. And what is Buddha Filihi? Shaihi. Banatu Shaihi. Fine. I got it. What is this Abbasin doing here? It is Badal. Brother Farooq, do you see Abbasin? Where will you put Abbasin now? Hmm? See Ash-Shaykhi, Abbasin. So Abbasin is here, Badal for Shaykhi. And if you remove Shaykh, what will you say? Nahnu Banatu Abbasin. Huh? It will make sense. Sahi? Nahnu Banatu Shaykhi. We are the daughters of the Shaykh. And then we say Abbasin, so which is actually a badal for Shaykh. Inshallah, you will understand this. This is a Salma. Does it make sense? Inshallah. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. Ummu kunna. How many words? Two. Mudaf, mudafili. Ummu kunna ustazati. Ustazati. How many words are there? To mudaf mudafili. So in this situation, where is mubtada? Ummu. Wahuwa mudaf. And then mudafilihi. And where is your khabar? Ustaza tu. Ustaza tu. My. Kaifa haluha. How is she? Huh? What is the answer? Hiya bi khairin. She is well. Walhamdulillah. Hiya mubtada. Bi khairin, jar majur, shibu jumla khabar. Very good, brother. Aina hi alana. Where is she now? Hi alana fir riyad. How will you translate? She's now in riyad. Fine. Now is a very interesting question. Mata zahabat. Mata. What is the meaning of mata? When. Mata zahabat. When did she go? Uh, see, now inshallah you will be able to understand and translate, huh? Without difficulty. But this book is so, the way it is arranged, it's very beautiful. And you will understand every sentence in it, inshallah. And with the exercises that we are doing out of the book, will help you to understand with ease, inshallah. Mata, Zahabat, what is the answer? 
what is the first word? Zahabat. Because we are still talking about her. So you'll say Zahabat Kabla Usbu'in. What is Kabla? Zarf. And what is Usbu'in? Mudafilahi. Okay? So brothers and sisters, Kabla means ago, before. Huh? So how will you translate this? Zahabat, she went a week ago. A week before. A week ago. Fine, brother and sister. So, Zahabat. Analyze this. Zahabat. Where is the fiel? Zahaba. And then, Tautanisi. Where is the file? Mustatir. In this case, it is Mustatir. MashaAllah. Very good. Man Zahaba Ma'aha. What is the translation of it? Who went with her? Of course, uh, in Saudi Arabia, you cannot travel alone. <laughs> okay, in Canada you can, but not in Saudi Arabia. So, man zahaba maaha, who went with her? Now, it is a very interesting sentence and I want you to analyze it, brother. Huh? What will you say? Zahaba maaha akhuna Ibrahim. Huh, brothers and sisters, zahaba Ma'aha. What is ma'aha? Zarf and mudafilahi. With her. Okay. And here comes akhuna. How many words? Two. Mudaf, mudafilahi. Do you see akhu marfu? Do you see akhu marfu? Huh? It is marfu. Do you see brother? Huh? Brother Said, do you see akhu marfu? Huh? It is marfu. Huh? Fine. It is marfu. And do you see Ibrahim marfu? Okay, fine. Now, as we know our rules, that files are always marfu. Huh? And if you see a sentence, try to see if there is a noun which is marfu, maybe it is your file. So, zahaba is your verb. Where is your file? Is it mustatir? Or is it in the sentence? Akhuna. Akhu is your file, not Akhu na, but Akhu is your file. Wa huwa mudaf and na mudafili. Sister Hafsa, I said, the files are always marfu. It will end with dhamma. Okay? And when you see a verb in the past tense, in the third person, only in the third person I'm talking about he and she. Only in these two, he and she. Remember, there is a possibility the file is in the sentence. If it is not in the sentence, then it is mustatir, hidden. But in this particular case, when we go through the sentence, I see akhuna. And akhu is marfu. Why it is marfu? Because it is the file. File is always marfu. Sahi, Sister Arifa. So here, akhuna will be your file. You got the point, Brother Hassan? Uh, you got to think it about it. Huh? Akhu is your file. Huh? Okay, remove ma'aha for the time being. What will you say? Zahaba akhuna. So akhuna then is immediately came close to the fiel and we see it is marfu, it is file. Sahi? Fine. Okay. Sister Arifa, what is this Ibrahimu doing here? It is badal. See, now your mind can tell you, huh? Badal for what? Ahu. Huh? Sister Aisha, do you feel it? Sister Mamuna, Ahu na Ibrahimu. Huh? Our brother Ibrahim. Remove Ahu na. What will you say? Zahaba maha Ibrahimu. Then Ibrahimu will become your file. And if you say, Zahaba maha maha Ahu na. Zahaba ma'aha akhuna, then akhu is your file. But you bring Ibrahim, then there is a badal, and it is badal for akhu. Got the idea? Very interesting sentence, huh? inshallah. She said, Salma, did you feel it? Alhamdulillah. Kaifa halu kunna? How are you all? What is the answer? Nahnu bi khair, walhamdulillah. Now comes our ayy. Fi ayyi madrasatin antunna. How will you translate? 
in which school you are. Huh? So whether fi, avchar, ayyi, is a majrur, and remember, ayyi is always mudaf, so it is mudaf, and then, a madrasa tin, with two kasras, tanwin, that is the mudaf ilahi. Fine. Nahnu fil madrasatil mutawasitati. Nahnu fil madrasatil mutawasitati. So nahnu is your muqtada, and where is your khabar? Fil madrasati. And what is this al mutawasitati? Naat. Huh? It's naat. Huh? Another nice sentence. Madakhtibaru kunna. Ikhtibar is examination. Ikhtibaru huh? kunna. Two words. What are they? Mudaf, mudaf ilihi. Matakhtibaru kunna. When are your examinations? What is the answer? Ikhtibaruna. Our exam show. How many words? Two. There is mubtada, ikhtibaru. Wa huwa mudaf. And na, mudaf ilihi. Ikhtibaruna. Okay. Our examination is ba'da. After. So again, ba'da is darf. So we have to have a mudaf ilahi. So where is the mudaf ilahi? Shahrin. Huh? Where is the khabar now? Ba'da. Shibu jumla. Will you say, what will you say? Ikhtibaru mubtada wa huwa mudaf na mudaf ilahi ba'da zarf shibu jumla khabar. As soon as you get shar, uh, if, as soon as you get, as soon as you get zarf, brothers and sisters, shibu jumla khabar. If it is jumla ismiya, and if there is no other khabar there, you know, we have to watch and decide. In this case, ba'da is your zarf, shibu jumla khabar. Azahabtunna ila al-madrasati al Al yawma, huh? it is also zarf. Al yawma, did you go to school today? What is the answer? Naam, zahabna, warajana. We went and we returned. Are you with me? So, what kind of a sentence is zahabna? Where is the fiel? Zahab. Where is the file? Na. And then rajana, and we return. Okay. Raja is the fiel, na is the file. Are you with me? Inshallah. Okay. Little bit more and then we take a break, brother and sister. Now all these answers to the questions will come from the dars. Man antunna. How will you answer? The answer will be, Nahnu banatu shaykhi abbasin. Very good. Aina Ummu Kunna. How will you answer? Here for Riyadh. Huh? Or you can say Zahabat Ila Riyadh. Huh? If you say Zahabat, then it will be Ila Riyadh. She went to Riyadh. Okay. Aina Baitu Kunna. Baituna Karibun. Whatever you want to say. Minal Masjidi. Uh, minal Madrasati. Min al-matari, uh, min al-suki, whatever you want to say. Okay? Aina hu kunna huwa fir riyad. Sahi? Huwa fir riyad. Aina madrasatu kunna. Now, is it madrasatu kunna? Now, will you say, how will be your answer? Madrasatu Na. Madrasatu na. Aina madrasatu kunna. Madrasatu na. Okay, and then, if it is near, you will say, karibatun. Why karibatun? Because it is more nice there. Huh? And whatever you want to say. Okay. Azahabtunna ilal madrasati al yawma. Did you go to the school today? What will be your answer? Naam. Zahabna, warajana, if you want to say. <laughs> okay, fine. Now, because we made practice with 
pronouns and some verbs. This is this is not even half jalebi. This is a quarter jalebi. <laughs> this is very very simple. Antum tulabun. What is the? How will you answer? Antunna talibatun. Khalas, brother. Antum mudarisuna. How will you make the question with female? Antunna mudarisatun. Are you with me? Says the Nasri. Huh? We have to use antunna. And then mudarisuna will become mudarisatun. Huh? Inshallah. And then antum atibbau. What will be the answer? Antunna tabibatun. Huh? So we are getting a practice of our plurals also. Antum ikhwatu hamidin. So what will you say? Antunna akhawatu hamidin. Got the idea? Sister Naima? Is it making sense? Huh? Ikhwatu will become akhawatu. Huh? Because we are asking uh, antunna. We are asking feminine. Huh? Sahi? Here is the question. Antum ikhwatu hamidin. How will you translate? Are you the brothers of Hamid? Are you all brothers of Hamid? Now we are asking the same question to ladies, so we cannot say to the ladies, are you the brothers of Hamid? Then it, they will become, are you the sisters of Hamid? Are you with me? So what will you say? Antunna akhwatu Hamidin. Got the idea? Very good. Antum muslimuna. How will you change that? Antunna muslimatun. Simple. I told you it's not a, it's half jalebi, it's quarter jalebi. Now it comes, Antum amamu mahmudin. What will you say? Antunna ammatu mahmudin. Antunna ammatu. Plural. Okay. Antum abnaul mudiri. Antunna banatul mudiri. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Antum abautul labi. Antunna ummahatu tulabi. Ummahatu ummahatu tulabi. So this gives you a lot of practice for plural also. And it makes you understand the use of antum and antunna. And we are pretty good at it, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters? I think, inshallah, we'll take a tea break. Brothers and sisters, we are back after our break. I have written the beginning of Surat Al-Fatiha, and we will try to analyze it from the knowledge that we have gained so far. The only thing that is may confuse you is uh, that, you know, we know that the noun declines in three cases. Sahi, it is marfu, it's mansu, and majroor. We have done it tun, dan, din, okay? Now the question is, what happens when it is jama, mudakar, salim, and jama, muannas, salim? How do they decline? We haven't learned that. And Dr. Abdurrahim does not teach us in the first book. But on our own, we are going to learn. And I'll show you today, brothers and sisters. It's very easy. Mudari huh? Sun. Mostly Mun. So if I say to you, Mudari Sun, are you with me, brothers and sisters? What will be the jama? Mudari soon. Now we added wow noon. Huh? And you know, I explained to you why we call it jama muzakar salim. Why do we call it sound plural? Mudari soon. We call it sound because this remains intact here. It did not got 
uh, you know, we did not delete anything, we did not add anything, it just remained as it is. So what will be Muslimun? Muslimun. Okay. It ends at with Fatah. So this is confusing. If I tell you this is Marfu, what did I say? This is Marfu. You will say, how can it be Marfu? You are uh, having a Fatah at the end. You call it Marfu. Marfu means Dhamma. Now, because this is a sound, masculine, plural, if you say Una, it is Marfu. And the sign of its being Marfu is Wow. What is it? Now, I am again telling you something that we do in book three. But mashallah, you are all strong and you will understand. So if I say Muslimuna, is it marfu? Yes. What is the sign of its being marfu? Al wow. If I say Mominuna, is it marfu? Yeah. What is the sign of its marfu? Wow. You inshallah. It's easy. Once we know, once we are strong, we are already strong in dhun dhan din, then this little variation doesn't put us off. Okay. How do I make it uh, mansub? Watch carefully. Mudarrisin. Mudarrisuna will become Mudarrisin. Are you with me? Okay. And so this is Marfu. And this is Mansu. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now, in Marfu, the sign of Rafa, sign of its being Marfu was Wow. If it is Mansu, what is the sign of its yeah. being Mansu? Yeah, yeah mashallah. You figured out. It is Ya. Yeah. Huh? It is Ya. Yeah. Okay. So, brother, Muslimuna make it mansub? Make Muslimuna into mansub? Muslimina. Make it Mominuna into mansub? Mominina. Make it Saimuna into mansub? Saimina. Make it Kanituna into mansub? Kanitina. Make it Zakiruna into mansub? Zakirina. Very easy. What is the sign of its being mansub? Ya. Yeah. Okay, now I make it majroor. Okay. I want you to close your eyes as a joke. And then open it and see what I wrote. Now you can open it and see. It is same. <laughs> what is it? It is same. Mudarisuna, mudarisina, mudarisina. Okay. How do I know that this is Mansub and this is Majru because they both look same. This is Ya is the sign of its being Mansub and this Ya is also sign of its being Majru. How will I know? Because if what comes before it? If it is Harf Jar, we will know it is Majru. Or if it is, comes as a Mudaf, Mudaf Ilehi, I know Mudaf Ilehi is Majru. So it will guide us. And when we do Mansu form, we'll do. So brother, look at this. Alimina. Huh? It is Alamuna. Alamina. Alamina. And now tell me, is it Majroor or Mansub? Why? Huh? No, no, no. No, no Arfchar there. MashaAllah. You got it? It is Mudaf, Mudaf Ilayhi. So Mudaf Ilayhi is Majroor. Huh? What is normally Rabbul Alameen? What is it? Rabbul Alameen. No, Rabbul Alameen is Mudaf, Mudaf Ilayhi. So Alameen is now Mudaf Ilayhi, Majroor. And what is the sign of its being Majroor? Yeah. So the sentence will tell us, the phrase will tell us, whether it is mansub 
or majrur. Huh? But then sister, now see, we learn another rule here. Huh? We learn one more rule here. That jama mudakar salim, huh? when it is marfu, the sign is wall. When it is mansub and majrur, the sign is ya. Yeah. Yeah. You will remember that. Huh? Mudarisuna, mudarisina, mudarisina. Let us do muslimuna, muslimina, muslimina. Mominuna, mominina, mominina. Okay? Hafizuna, hafizina, hafizina. And they will come. And inshallah, once we go to book two, I will bring a beautiful, beautiful ayah for you. You know, it is so beautiful. Uh, and once you understand all these things, it will melt your heart. It will melt your heart. Inshallah we'll do. I'm waiting for book two to start. Uh, and all our knowledge of Muptada and Khabar will make things easy for us. If you, if you are weak in Muptada and Khabar, then you won't be able to understand the beauty and the magic. But Alhamdulillah we are getting stronger and we will do it Inshallah. Fine brothers and sisters. Now we start the beginning of Surah Al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillah. Huh? Is it Jumla Ishmiya or Jumla Failiya? Jumla Ishmiya. So what are we looking for? Muftada. Where is Muftada? Alhamdulillah. Huh? There is much more into Al that I don't want to go in detail. Later on, when we when we will do after we finish our course and when we do actual analysis, then I will also go a little further and tell you Al. Why this Al is, what is the significance of this Al. But right now we say the, the praise. But if you'll see in the, in the tafsir, they will say all the praise. Where does this all come from? We will learn later on, inshallah. So Alhamdulillah is your muptida. Okay, brother, where is the khabar? Lillahi. What is Lillahi? Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Khalas. Now look at Allahi. Is it Majrur? Allahi. Majrur hai. Allahi. It's Majrur. No, if they say Nath comes for Allahi, it has to be Majrur. Are you with me? If there is a Nath coming for Allahi, it has to be Majrur. So look at Rabbi. It's a naat. Not for what? Allahi. Allahi. It is a naat for Allahi. Allah. Who is Allah? Rab. Huh? The creator, the sustainer, the maintainer. Huh? And then, brother, Rabbul Alamin is a two words. It's a murakab. What kind of a murakab is this? Muda, muda file. So, where is our naat? Rabbi. Huh? And, and what is the sign of its being majroor? Yeah. Why? Because it is jama muzakar salim. Huh? It is jama muzakar salim. Huh? So, brothers and sisters, instead of Rabbul Alameen, it became Rabbil Alameen. And brother Farooq. You can tell me Allah he has Al and Rabb does not have Al. How can it be Nath? The, the Nath has to follow Manut. If it is Allahi, it should be Ar-Rabb. What is our answer? Then Mudaf cannot have Al and Mudaf cannot have Tanween. Uh, then how do I know it is definite? Because I look to the Mudaf Ilahi. If the Mudaf Ilahi is definite, then Mudaf is also definite. Huh? It is also definite. And it has got Al, but we don't write it. Huh? The combination of Mudaf, Mudaf, Ilayhis, the Mudaf cannot have Al, cannot have Tanween. You got the idea, brother? So this is not number one. Okay. Ar-Rahmani. Ar-Rahmani. Why Rahmani? No. It will go to? Allahi. See, if you go to Lillahi, which is Li plus Allahu, which made, which we got into Li. Uh, because of the 
Harsha. So if this Allah he, then the Rabbi got a Kasra, because it is a Naat, and then our Rahmani got a Kasra, it is a Naat, and our Rahimi got a Kasra, why? It is a Naat. And they are definite, because they are not Mudaf Mudafili. Are you with me, brothers? Do you feel it? What I am trying to explain? Huh? Say, Allah he, okay, what about him? Naat, Naat, and Naat. Got the idea? Now we come to the final. Maliki. Why it is Maliki, brother? And not Maliku? Maliki, why? Because it will go back to Allah. That is also a Naat. Are you with me? So, brothers and sisters, this is your Naat. This is your Naat. This is your Naat. And this is your Naat. All of them are Naat. And where is the Manu'ut? Allah. Allah, He is your Manu'ut. Huh? See, see, now, when you read, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alam. Al- huh? Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki. These are all the Naat we are describing for Allah. Huh? Who is Allah? He is the Rabb. He is Rahman. He is Rahim. He is Malik. Huh? But why are they Majroor? Because the Manuut is Majroor. Are you with me? The Manuut is Majroor. Who made the Manuut Majroor? Harfchar. The Harfchar goes only here. But then the Naat will follow Manuut. Okay, Maliki Yawmiddin. Remove, remove uh, uh, the Maliki and make it. If you remove Maliki, what will it become? Maliku. Uh, are you with me? If I take the Kasra out, it will become a Dhamma. Huh? Maliku. Maliku Yaumi Deen. How many words? If I say Maliku Yaumi Deen. Three words. So what will be Maliku? Muda. And where is Muda Filehi? Yaumi. Huh? And Yaumi will become Muda. And in the end, Deeni Muda Filehi. You got it, brother? Huh? Okay, so here, brother, uh, I will write down uh, Rabbi uh, Mudaf. Uh, of course, it is Naat uh, plus Mudaf, and this is Mudaf Lehi, uh, and this is Naat, and this is Naat, and what is this, brother? Also Naat, Wahuwa uh, Mudaf. And what is this? Mudaf ilahi. Wa huwa mudaf. And this is? Isn't it beautiful, brothers and sisters? You could have never understood this eh, before. Now you understand after taking this course and only working for about 12 days. In 12 sessions, alhamdulillah, maybe 14 sessions, you are now understanding things. Huh, brother? Are you with me now? Alhamdu Muptada. Huh? Alhamdu Muptada. Okay, brother? Maybe I should write down here. Huh? Mubtada. And what is this? Uh, jarun wa maj rurun and shibu jumla. Jarun wa majrurun. Shibu jumla, khabar. Okay, then, then what is Rabb? Rabb is a naat. Wa huwa mudaf. And alameena mudaf ilahi. What is a rahmani? Naat. Why it is majrur? Because the manut is majrur. And rahimi, why it is majrur? Because the manut is majrur. Huh? Now, why is Maliki and not Maliku? Because Maliki is the Naat. 
And remember, Allah who is, I can see Al, I don't see Al in Malik. I don't see Al in Malik. Because it is Mudaf, that final Mudaf Ilahi with Al tells me it is all Marfu. Are you with me? Uh, if the Mudaf Ilahi is Marfu, uh, uh, if the Mudaf Ilahi is Marfu, then the Mudaf is Marfu. Got the idea, uh, brothers and sisters? Are you with me? Uh, sister Arifa? Uh, brothers and sisters? You will be able to understand Quran in a very beautiful way. And then we are going to analyze things like this, inshallah. Huh? And then we have books to help you. And remember, you only have to do once only. Because now when you see, when you will say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmiddin, every word you can feel it in yourself. What is the construction? Huh? And you will understand. You won't translate because now you are understanding it in Arabic. Huh? Every word will be in Arabic that will go down in our heart. Now the next one, brother, Iyaka Nabudu. We will do one. Someday we'll do that also. I want to do the whole of it, but step by step. Huh? And once you Brother and sister, you really understand when you say, What does it mean? And when you say, What is Ihdi and what is Na? What does it mean? Huh? What are you saying? You are talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? Okay? And when you say, Ka, I give an example. If you say, Ka to somebody, when would you use Ka? Then, uh, when will you use you? Second, when will you use it? He is in front of you. Brother, we are talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala using pronouns which are second person and you can only use them when somebody is in front of you. Huh? Only when they are with you. In front of you. Huh? Brother. If Allah is far from us, then we would have said... Yahu Nabudu. Huh? No. Yaka Nabudu. Who taught us these things? Allah Himself taught us. So, inshallah, we'll do a little more later on, inshallah. And I, I tell you, this is, I have had students, they, 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 they say, you know, it changed their whole outlook of life. You know, they, 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 they now read the Quran. And they understand it. I've got so many sisters. Someday we will invite all those uh, teachers, the sisters and brothers who have become teachers. And they, 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 they now understand the Quran. And inshallah we'll invite them. It's, it's a, the group is increasing. So we'll, inshallah we'll let you meet them. You know? There are many in Mississauga. Uh, many in Scarborough. Many in uh, Richmond Hill. Inshallah. We will do slowly, slowly. I hope you understood. Because it is part of what we did. Huh? Part of what we are studying. Which is Nath Manuhut. Huh? And if I ever make a mistake, you will forgive me. Because I am a human being. Okay? And Allah will forgive me. You know? Because I am not a scholar. But whatever little bit I understand and that I learned, I am sharing with you, brothers and sisters. Now we come to number three. How will change the damir in the following sentences as it is explained in the example? Mithal. Aina baitukum ya ikhwanu. How did we change? Aina baitukunna ya akhwatu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So if you see Ikhwanu, you will make it into Ya Khawatu. Correct? If you see Ikhwanu, what will you do? You will change into Ya Akhawatu. Okay. Aina Akhukum 
يا إخوان how will you say أين أخو كنا what will you say أين أخو كنا يا أخوات now come on another quarter jalebi not even half jalebi <laughs> very easy brother when I say things like that it means it's very easy huh? Aina madarasa tukum ya ikhwanu. How will you say? Aina, aina madarasa tu kunna. Aina madarasa tu kunna. Huh? Ya akhwatu. Very good. Matakhti barukum ya ikhwanu. What will you say now, Sister Hafsa? Mata ikhti kunna. Huh? Kum is changing to kunna, brother. Not a big deal. We have done the pronouns, we are strong. Mata huh? ikhtibaru kunna ya khawatu. So what, are, what is this ikhtibaru kum, ikhtibaru kunna, what are they? Mudaf mudafilahi. Huh? They are mudaf mudafilahi. When the pronoun is attached to the noun, the result is mudaf mudafilahi. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. What did I say? When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majroorun. When the pronoun Joins a zarf. What do we get? We get zarf and mudafilehi. Did you get it? Yes. Inshallah. Fine. Ahaza ammukum ya ikhwanu. Now what will you say? Ahaza ammu kunna. Are you with me? Ahaza ammu kunna. Ya ikhwatu. Is this your uncle or sisters? Now, brother and sister, Abaitu kum karibun ya ikhwanu. What will you say? Abaitu kunna karibun ya ikhwatu. Fi ayi shahrin ikhtibarukum ya ikhwanu. What is the translation? In which month? Month. Huh? Huh? Is your exam. Huh? Is your exam. And change it now. What will you say? Fi ayi shahrin ikhtibaru kunna ya akhwatu. I told you it's not even quarter jilebi. <laughs> it is very simple. Okay. Another, another half jilebi now. Huh? Okay. What is it, brothers and sisters? You have to just use anta, antum, anti, antunna. Okay. Sister Salma. <coughs> First is your. We are asking question. Uh, Muslim moon. No, what is Muslim moon? Singular. So what will you say? No, no, no. You just have to use pronoun. No, you have to use a pronoun in front of it. We are asking questions. Ah, khalas. You got the idea? You just have to use those four pronouns. Take one which is suitable. Huh? So how, what will you say now? Say loudly. Yeah, anta muslimun. Huh? And you, you will say, naam ana muslimun. Alhamdulillah. Sister Hafsa, what is the next one? A anti maridatun. Are you sick? A anti maridatun. La. Or you can say, naam ana maridatun. I am sick. Okay, fine. Now, Sister Abir. MashaAllah. Antunna tabibatun. That was excellent. Sister Fatima. Tujarun. It is always starting with a. So what will you say? Take one pronoun from those four and use it. Tujarun. Antum. Antum. MashaAllah. That was correct. Huh? You said it correct. Antum tujarun. Because tujarun is a plural. So it will be antum. Sister Naima. MashaAllah, that's correct. Anti Bintul Mudarisi. Very good, it is correct. What is uh, Sister Sukhaina? 
Mashallah. Antunna akhwatu Abbasin. And Sister Arifa. Antun tulabun. Mashallah. See, I told you this is very easy. Why, why do you find it easy? Because we got a little grip on our pronouns. Uh, by, by all the time doing huwa, huma, hum, we are not familiar with them. Huh? Are you okay, Brother Muhammad? Yes. You got it, everything, inshallah? Yeah, fine. But then now comes, <coughs> now comes, what does it come? Uh, those were, <coughs> uh, those were damirun munfasilun. They were marfu. Now comes damirun mutasilun. And they are all coming as a mudafilehi. Huh? So, Sir Aisha, you have four pronouns ka, kum, ki, kunna. Aina ya ikhwanu. Aina baitukum ya ikhwanu. What is baitukum? Mudaf, mudafilehi. Previously, they were all marfu. A anta, a anti, a antum, a antunna. Now, they are coming as mudafilehi. So, what is mudafilehi? Majru. Okay. Sister Maimuna? MashaAllah. Ahaza kitabuka ya Hamid? Alhamdulillah. You say it so smoothly and with such confidence, it gives me a lot of pleasure. You are understanding well, MashaAllah. Sister uh, Nasreen? Ya Layla. So what do you say? Ya Saatuki. Jamilatun ya Layla. Your watch is beautiful, O Layla. Huh? Saatu ki Jamilatun. Huh? So Saatu is your Mubutada, Mudaf, Mudafin, and Jamilatun is your Khabar. Sister Mainas, Man. What will you say, Man? Abu Kunna, Mashallah, Mashallah. Man Abu Kunna. Ya khwatu, who is your father? Ya khwatu, yes. Abu kunna, ya khwatu. Nusrat? Masmuki ya Sayyidati. What is your name, madam? Fine. Uh, brother Farooq? Mashallah, that's correct. Masmuka ya Sayyidi. Very good. Huh? <coughs> Brother Hassan? Yes. No, here you can use all the four pronouns. Kuka, <laughs> ki, everything you can use. Eh? Because it depends whom you are. Uh, so, Amuka is right. If you said Amuki, right. Amukum, Amukunna, it will all be correct, inshallah. Brother uh, Abdus Samad, Ma. No, here. What, what is the difference, brothers and sisters? Can you see the Hamza? What kind of Hamza is this? Hamza tul Qata. Huh? So we have two pronouns. In the Ism, Hamza was Hamza tul Wasal, so we assimilated. So what will you say? Ma, Ma Asma'ukum Ya Ikhwanu. Huh? Okay? Inshallah. Now, Brother uh, uh, Said, we have only use, we have to use Ana and Nahan, nothing else, okay? Ana Muslim. Walhamdulillah. Mashallah. Brother Muhammad? Nahnu Muslimun. Nahnu Muslimuna. Sister uh, Salma? Uh, only two pronouns. Nahnu. No, you are, you are the only singular here. I missed one, sorry. Okay. It's Ana Muslim. Ana Muslimatun. Huh? Uh, Ana Muslimatun. Okay. Nahnu Muslimatun. MashaAllah. Abir? Bana? Nahnu Bana? Bana? Tu. Why will you say T? If you say T, then you have to give me a, a logical explanation. Huh, Brother Muhammad? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ana nahnu mubtada. Where is the khabar? Banatu. Wahua huwa mudaf and mudafili. Nam. Sister Fatima. 
What will you say? You've got two choices. Look at the word. Is Ibnu singular or plural? It is singular. So what will you say? Ana Ibnul Mudarrisi. Ana Ibnul Mudarrisi. Ana Ibnul Mudarrisi. So Ana is Mubtada, Ibnu is your Khabar, Mudah, Mudafili. Sister Naima? Nahnu Tullabun. And then Sister Suhaina? Ana Marida. Is it clear, brother? You got to write it, huh? Inshallah, you'll be writing it, huh? Please, huh? By writing, you'll become extra strong. Okay. Now, brother and sister, ikra waktu. Read and write. But we are going to analyze a little bit of it. Zahaba abi ilal kahirati kabla uspoin. The use of zarf kabla and baada is beautifully explained by Dr. Abdurrahim in these following sentences. And you see, the zarf is underlined. Okay, brother and sister? Zarf is underlined. So there is a zarf. And what follows the zarf? Mudafilehi. Huh? Mudafilehi. Zahaba abi. Brother and sister, what is zahaba abi? Zahaba is fail. And what is the file? Abu. Abu Abu Mudaf and Mudaf Ilahi. Okay? And then Il al Kahirati Jaya Majur. Al Kabla Zarf and Usbuin Mudaf Ilahi. Got the idea, inshallah? Fine. Now, Sister Menas, no vowel signs. You read the sentence and give us the correct vowel sign. You have to see whom you are addressing. You are addressing Muhammad. So, what will you say? Mashallah. Ah, then, Kharashtu. See, now, see, the, we were doing in the morning. Huh? So, the, how this is how you will apply your knowledge. Huh? Brother Muhammad, yes. you are asking Muhammad, so he will become Kharashta. Then, Muhammad will reply, and he will say, Kharashtu. Mashallah. But if you get this idea, then you are on 407. <laughs> then you are on. 407, inshallah. Fine. Okay. So, fine. Kharaj tu. Analyze Kharaj tu. Where is the fiel? Kharaj. With sukun. File tu. Huh? Baada. What is baada? Zarf. And what is that darsi? Mudafilai. Khalas. Huh? Very good. I hope you are understanding it, inshallah. It seems you all have a Fairly good understanding. Fine. Sister Arifa, you tell me the third sentence without vowel signs. Ah, see, Zahab tu. What is Zahab tu? I went. Ilal Masjidi, Cha Majru. Kabla, Zarf. And Allah. If I ask you, uh, if I ask you, Sister Arifa, see what is my question, and I'll be asking you this: Mata zahabti ilal masjidi. What is the translation? Mata when zahabti ilal masjidi. Your, what is your answer? Zahabtu ilal masjidi kabla azan. Uh, I went to the masjid before the azan. Uh, kabla azani means before the azan. So if to the sister I will say Mata Zahabti. And to the brother I will say Mata Zahabta. Huh? And to the brothers I will say Mata Zahabtum. And to all the sisters I will say Mata Zahabtunna. Got the idea? This is how we can change. Inshallah. Sister Aisha. Mata hmm? Zahaba. See, because you are asking Amina it becomes Ammuki. Huh? Fine. What is the answer? What is the translation? Uh, he went a month ago. Huh? So, sister, what is Zahaba Kabla Shahrin Jumla? Failure. I'm looking for fiel and file. Where is the fiel? And where is the file? 
مستطر ما شاء الله and what is qabla zarf and what is shahr mudaf but this is the foundation once you know this that's it throughout in the book you will be comfortable inshallah okay now sister uh, mahmuna yeah translate did you go to the restaurant after the salah in english we'll say like that huh? did you go to the restaurant after the salah what is the answer la ذا هب تو قبل صلاتي what is the translation no i went before the salah i went the i was so hungry i said i let me go and eat first and then i'll go to the masjid uh, for, so ذا هب تو where is the verb ذهب ما شاء الله and فعل تو huh? and قبل ذرف and صلاتي ما شاء الله ما شاء الله okay Sister Nasreen, <coughs> you will translate this. See, Aina Zahabta, Aina Zahabta Ya Akhi. What? How will you translate? Where did you go? Oh, brother, where did you go? Aina Zahabta, where did you go? Huh? And if I say Mata Zahabta, when did you go? Aina Zahabta, where did you go? Mata Zahabta. When did you go? Fine. Uh, sister Mayanas, next one is yours. Ikhwani. See now, Akhi Zahabta. Ya Ikhwani Zahabtum. Where did you go? Nusrat? You are asking a sister, so how, how will you say? Ya yeah. Ukhti, Masha. How will you translate? See the whole idea of this is to see the difference. Zahabta, ti, zahabtu, zahabtum, zahabtunna. And because we practice, brother and sister, it's easy. If we had not practiced, you may have found this little confusing and difficult. Huh? What is the next one? Uh, brother Farooq, tell me. Akhawati. Akhawati. There is a fata on kha. Huh? How will you translate? Aina. Where did you go? Oh, did you go, oh sisters? Okay, fine. Brother Hassan? Got the idea? Ana zahabtu. I went. So, what is Ana zahabtu? Mubtada khawar. Mashallah. Excellent. I was, uh, you know, hoping that you will say that this is Jumla. Ismiya. Whether it is Ismiya. So where is Muftada? Ah, ah, okay. What is Muftada? Ana. So where is the Khabar? What is the Jumla failure? The Khabar is coming in the form of Jumla fear. And when it is Jumla failure, we are looking for fiel and file. Where is the fiel? Zahab. And where is the file? Tu, mashallah. You got the idea how we analyze it? Inshallah. Okay. Now if you say ana zahabtu, I went. And if you remove ana and say zahabtu, it also means I went. Huh? Okay. Brother uh, uh, Abdul Samad. So what is nahnu here? Where is the khabar? Zahabna, which is jumla failure. Where is the verb? And then? Na Fine, fine, mashallah, mashallah. So here is brothers and sisters. Al kalimatul jadidatu, tabla, before, bada, after. Do you see the vowel sign at the end of kabla? Fata. Bada, fata. In other words, most of the time, zarf will always have fata. Zarf is always fata. Okay? We are going to learn a lot later on, inshallah. Kaifa. Huh? How? Huh? Mata. Zarf again. When? 
על, על אוסבו, על אוסבו, אוקיי? ויק, דוויק. אשהרו, על אדנו, אסלאטו, תפרר. רג'ה אה, היא רטרן, היא רטרן, אוקיי? Now I ask you a quick question, brother. Hal zahabta ila al-masjid al-yom? Zahabta. Mata zahabta ila al-masjid? Kabla adhani, you can say. Are you with me? Mata raja'ata? So you will say raja'atu ba'da salati. See how we are changing the sentence? Are you with me? Okay. Now I ask you, uh, Sister Salma, Hal zahabti ila suq al-yom? Zahabtu. No. Mata zahabti ila al-masjidi? Zahabtu. Kabla. Adhani, you can say, before the adhan. Wa mata rajati min al-masjidi? Wa mata rajati ila al-bayti? When did you return to the house? Rajatu. Ba'da salati. See, ba'da salati. Are you with me? Inshallah. Now, brother, al-dama'iru munfasilatu. Al-dama'iru al-munfasilatu. Means, detached pronouns. What is it? Brother Muhammad, detached pronoun. Now, brother Muhammad, you know. First, four pronouns, brother Sayyid, you read. Yes. 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 Take three, two more. Yes. Got the idea? What is it? Mubtada khabar. Are you with me? What is it? Mubtada. But do you see ana, anta, anti, huwa, hiya, they are all damir, munfasil, detached. They are all detached. Huh? And they are all marfu. And they came as a mubtada. Sahi. And then these are your khabars. Brother Muhammad, now come on this side. Auntie. No, hum. Huh? Oh. Huh? Hum, tablabun. Tumabun. And then? Hunna, talibatun. 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 Brother, if you won't say talibatun, you won't get laddu. Huh? <laughs> Okay. Antum. Antum. Tullabun. Very good. Antunna. Aha. Talibatunna. Talibatun. Talibatun. So, Tullabun. Talibatun. Okay. Nahnu. Nahnu. Tullabun. And in the end, Nahnu. Talibatun. Got the idea? Again, these are, these are Damir Munfasil, Detesh. Pronoun, they are all marfu and they came as a muftida. So, brother, <coughs> Talibun, what is the jama of Talibun, brother Muhammad? Tullabun. Uh, if I say Talibatun, singular, Talibatun. Uh, we, if you write it,